Hey, it's Phil's good man. Look, I know what you're thinking, a guide on LMG. A lot of people think that this class is cancer. And to be honest, I was a little bit uh, hesitant going into this guide myself because I just hadn't played very much Spray and Pray. But I discovered that there's a lot of really cool things about this class. And I'll try to explain why I think it's an important class in the game. And also the LMG happens to be a really great class for countering hackers that you might encounter. Before I made this guide, I really did not enjoy playing the LMG, but now it's definitely one of my favorite classes and I've been using it a lot in ranked. So I'm gonna to try to cover as much as possible in this guide, but as I usually do, let's start off on what makes the LMG unique and let's dive into its stats. The base damage is 29 headshot, 20 body shot, and 10 damage for a leg shot. Next, testing the fall off at a few different distances, you can see that there's surprisingly very little damage drop off at range using the LMG. So even though you will get outclassed by Trigger Man and Hunter at range, don't be afraid to take those long range fights if you feel like you have the advantage. Now let's take a look at time to kill. So in this case, it's LMG versus Trigger Man. And that was pretty fast at just 26 frames. On the other hand, it took 37 frames, Trigger Man versus LMG, so quite a while longer. This is just one example with a single matchup at a single distance, but the point is that the LMG kills really fast and is hard to kill if you're at full HP. But before you get too excited, also understand that it takes a really long time to aim down sights as the spray and pray takes 12 frames. You can see how slow it is. But that really doesn't mean you have to wait until the aim buff fully kicks in uh, before you start shooting. So I like to hold down uh, left and right click at the same time when I'm entering a fight. You might not be fully accurate, but some of the shots might still hit. Now we're going to talk about some of the drawbacks of this class, and the first big one is the reload time. It's just super, super slow. And I measured 210 frames to reload. That's 3.5 seconds. So what if you cancel the reload if you get into a fight by switching back and forth between the knife? Uh, actually, there's still a delay of 41 frames, so that's enough time for the enemy to kill you. Quick recap of the stats that we just went over. So LMG has a base HP of 170, which is the highest in the game. Damage falloff is pretty negligible across the board. Time to kill is favorable against other 100 HP classes and Trigger Man. And of course, it does quite well against Hunter because it takes at least 60 frames between shots for the Hunter. Um, LMG aim time, this is where things start to get bad. So it takes a really long time to aim down sights. Reload is, you know, infinity. Um, switching to the knife is viable, but um, most classes have a time to kill faster than 41 frames. And um, last thing is that instead of reloading, just switch the knife and start slicing. There's a delay of 16 frames. So it's important to understand these different types of delays because it will help you make better decisions while playing Spray and Pray. Some things are easy when it comes to aiming with the LMG, some things are pretty hard. So starting off with recoil, um, you do have to control the initial recoil and it is harder to control than the trigger man. So you can see in my mouse cam, um, as I'm spraying, I'm just pulling down the mouse to compensate for that initial recoil. Um, after that recoil is over though, it becomes really easy and then it's all about tracking. That's not to say that tracking is easier than click timing, but at least you have a really big clip to work with. And if you're into aim trainer programs, just do any tracking scenario. I still think that ascended tracking is a really good scenario because it uh, supports aim down sights. So if you have Kovacs FPS aim trainer, I do recommend starting with this one. So LMG feels a lot different than the other classes in the game when it comes to movement, but it still uses the same base mechanics. And if you don't know advanced movement techniques yet in Krunker, definitely check out my step-by-step -step guide. The main thing is that the LMG is just a lot heavier compared to other classes, so um, the time of a jump is a lot smaller and you don't jump as high. This means that it takes longer to build up acceleration with the LMG, and that's why I recommend to always try to keep moving, try to keep your hop slide going if possible. You can also kickstart your acceleration by pulling out the knife. Just remember, don't have your knife out too often because there is that delay when switching back to LMG. I recommend that you practice firing continuously while aiming down sights um, and then curve sliding around the map. That way, you never really slow down too much. Uh, if you slow down, you're quite an easy target to hit. Reloading the LMG gets its own section in the guide, and honestly, it takes so long that sometimes the best strategy is to simply die. You can also hide behind a corner somewhere. One thing that I like to do is just move really fast and hop slide back and forth. 
As mentioned earlier, you can double tap Q to uh, cancel the reload. And it's a really viable strategy, especially if you have cover to hide behind. Next, we're gonna talk LMG strategy. And LMG is really great for those team-based, objective-based game modes where you can really take advantage of that 170 HP. If your objective is high kill streaks in the FFA game mode, then it is really hard with LMG because it takes so long to reload. It's not that LMG is bad, it's just that there are other options that are better for FFA. So what is the LMG really good at? And that's, as you would expect, being a tank. You know that it's gonna take the hunter at least two shots to kill you. So if you go in first and lead the charge, um, you can absorb one of those hits that uh, could have been received by one of your teammates. And it really helps to take the point with the LMG leading first. In these examples from ranked games, what I'm trying to do here is get ahead of my team, lead the charge, and trade favorably. But even if it's a one-on-one trade, um, it could still help your team take the point. When you do have the point and you're using LMG, one thing that's great to do is just lay down suppressive fire on a corner. So as they walk out, they're, they're forced to walk into continuous LMG fire, allowing your team to soak up more points. In some situations, you might switch off LMG, especially in uh, really long sight lines. If the other team is good at focus firing you, sometimes the best thing to do is just switch the hunter and see if you can get some picks. Starting with a good matchup, so actually it's not so simple. Um, I think that the LMG is high tier in general, so the LMG does have a lot of great matchups, especially against the trash tier classes. LMG is also considered a counter for the hunter, um, but it really just depends on how much HP you have entering that fight, because there are plenty of situations where um, you're half HP and the hunter really has the benefit of that. In general, you'll have an advantage against any class if you enter the fight with full HP. Now, if you're having trouble playing against Spray and Prey, uh, I do have some recommendations. I would say that the Detective with the Revolver, as well as Vince with the Shotgun, are potential counters to the LMG. Detective is great against LMG because of your high burst damage. You can take a shot, hide behind cover. Also, it's a lot better to um, rail off two shots with the Detective compared to the Hunter. It's just a lot faster. This is by no means a hard counter because it still takes two headshots. The other class that does great against the LMG is the shotgun. That's because Vince can one-shot the LMG, and even if he doesn't one-shot him, uh, you can get off that second shot really quickly. If you encounter a hacker in your game, just try switching to LMG. The reason is that hackers really like to play Hunter, because they probably have an aimbot script. Um, even if they land that first shot, you should be able to take them down faster than they're able to get off that second shot. Using this strategy, you won't necessarily take the top of the leaderboards because it requires you to regen health if you lost any, but in that one versus one fight, you will beat the hacker. And sometimes that's all you need in life. To wrap things up, the key to playing the LMG is to first understand the base mechanics, know how long it takes to reload, know the delay when switching weapons, etc. After that, you're going to want to learn how to move and aim while playing the LMG because it is quite different from other classes. Then you can refine your gameplay strategy with the LMG. Uh, make sure that you're playing the objective, be a tank, going first. Obviously, this isn't Overwatch, but I have seen the LMG being used as a tank very effectively in competitive games. Often the LMG is at the bottom of the leaderboard, but um, he or she is playing a really powerful role in helping the team take the objective. So this guide is how to improve on the LMG. It's not about game balance, but I will share my thoughts on it anyways. I think the LMG is really strong, definitely high tier. I can certainly see it dominating the meta in competitive 4 vs 4 hardpoint. Whether it should be nerfed or not, um, I think that's another story. I'm not really sure yet. I do like the fact that there's a 170 HP class in the game. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed my guide on how to play the LMG. Thank you so much to all my subscribers, including the ones who are there with me from the very beginning, as well as the new ones. Welcome to the channel. If you like the content that you're seeing here, please consider subscribing. I will be doing more giveaways in the near future and definitely one before the year ends. Subscribing is the best way to get notified about these giveaways and also when I occasionally do a live stream. 